Teamsters. We are still aboard Anthem of the Seas. It is day six. And while the family is off exploring beautiful Puerto Rico, I'm stuck on the ship, of course, because of Zika. <laughs> but it's all good. I'm gonna take some time to explore. Yesterday, um, my friend Mika and I, because she's pregnant too, um, stayed on the ship while everyone went to St. Martin. And we just um, hung out in the pool, literally, I think for like three hours. <laughs> so that was fun. And they said it was super hot anyway, and stuff got canceled because of the, um, there was a big storm the night before in, in St. Martin. So we didn't miss too much, but right now they're all going to explore in Puerto Rico. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of some areas um, of the cruise boat that you might not have seen yet. Right now I'm filming the actual screen of my phone so if you want to be on the YouTube vlog go ahead just say hi to everyone and I'm gonna make sure this gets on the YouTube vlog because right now for those of you who are watching the YouTube vlog I'm periscoping and we are here in San Juan so just let you guys know that if you want to go ahead and say shout your name out hi from Jay Carlson hey how's it going anyone else anyone else going once Going twice. And hi YouTube from Qtobo. Oh, yes. Gotcha. Good. So all the rest of you who didn't do it, you guys missed out. Say hi. Hi. We're in Puerto Rico. Hello. <laughs> hey everybody. So we're in San Juan, Puerto Rico right now. This is, I believe, this is stop number four. Let me see, stop number three on our nine night Bermuda and Caribbean cruise. Why did I just start doing that? I have no idea. Come here, Logan. I like this one better. No, that is the better. Yes, very much so. I like this one. Logan, stop. 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 So, we'll be here until about like two o'clock. And then, uh, we're off to Haiti. Logan, come up. He's good. Keisha. Keisha stayed back on the ship because, you know, with the pregnancy and the Zika and all that stuff. So, we're going to have all the fun for her while she's on the ship. And it's hot. And even though I look like I'm sweating, it was raining. Um, so, it's a mostly rain on my face and junk. But for the most part, Puerto Rico is nice. I love it. It's my second time here. Ha, 
and go to these souvenir shops, I just wish, and maybe it was me, I just wish they weren't so cheap looking <laughs> and cheap. Like I really would love to find a souvenir. That's of, that's of like quality, you know, that's not necessarily inexpensive, but something that's where I don't feel like it's gonna break as soon as I leave the store, you know? But I get it, it's just me. Bien, extra, I suppose. So we are down in Puerto Rico. It's going to be rain again. Um, and I'm about to get back on the ship. Dance with the seals. So you guys have fun? Yeah. You ready? You ready to get back on the ship? Yeah. All right. So we're about to head off back to the ship right now. Gotta cut that out.
Can't say, look like all your new cars. Here's all your new cars. left. Say good evening. <laughs> we only have three more dinners left, unfortunately, but uh, we're going to enjoy some nice dinner because it is what it is. Here we are. Absolutely not. I don't have the legs for a dress. Somebody's cabaret. What's up? This uncomfortable close up. What's up? What's up, peoples? Listen, so we on our way to uh, 270 Spectre's Cabaret. I don't know what this is about. Kind of maybe Chicago. No, it's like a cabaret. It's a. It's basically a Broadway style show that's. Meets circus or cirque de la, cirque cirque de la, cirque circus, de soleil. whatever it's called. I've never been, and I've had five of these. Okay. Uh -huh. Is it good singing? That's really all I really want to know. Um, I don't there? think this one's about singing. It's more so, so no stunts. Singing. No, there's probably singing. And um, I mean, I've never seen this one, but there's mostly uh, like stunts and aerial acrobatics and stuff. Okay, we can get down. We can subscribe to uh, to that. Uh, was dinner, mommy and auntie. Uh -huh. Like, what's up? Hello. <laughs> nice cruise. There we Enjoy go. yourself? I, yeah, until Ray had me panicking. <laughs> well, so, so, so tell everybody what, what happened, Auntie. What happened? He left. He left and he then. He went off. And then it was into close. Into the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then it was only like, what, 20 minutes left? Until the boat was about to leave. He was about to leave him. He was about to get left. Me and Beverly looking like getting distressed. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm puffing like. All I can say was a pig. Going into the uh, Adidas pig. store. I was like, I know you. I know you was hot. I was hot. I was mad. <laughs> and here he come with these bags talking about I bought a Gator belt and all this other stuff. <laughs> So he said, I was looking for a chain for you. And then he won you over. He's like, that's my baby. He won, like, he won me over then. That's how I, you know how they do. Well, I don't know because I don't do that. I'm back well before the cruise ship is uh, starts blowing that horn. Wait, does everything on Caribbean have to do with music? Is that like their thing? An anthem of the Because seas. anthem, mm -hmm. harmony, and now symphony. No, that's just the theme of those ships. So like the orchestra Whereas, like, of the where, seas, there's where, the melody of the sea. I'm actually, those are, good, those, those are good names. Uh, Royal Caribbean? Yeah. yeah. Shares. Those are, those are good names. Royalty. Look at people here already. Two hours in advance. You should. What's going on? So you injured yourself, Brian? Yes. So see my my boo boo. Serious. Oh, you really did stop it. That took the whole skin off. 
Yeah. So it's just, they need no, they just needed the band aid. They needed like those stitches or nothing. No, no, I just put a, mm. put some shower, put some uh, ointment on the A and D. Really cool. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Like I mean that architecture. Yeah, that the, that's one of the places that I would actually wouldn't mind staying for a couple days. Yeah. You know, I got a lot of Puerto Rican friends that always said like they're gonna take me to Puerto Rico, but it never happens because <laughs> uh, they just be going randomly, and I don't be having the funds to go randomly. Right. Plus the rain parts, they're going to see rain. Yep. Uh, so, Brian yep. and I were talking. We were wondering, for those of you who are like cruise experts out there and kind of know the industry better than I do, although this is my third cruise, I feel like I know a lot, but I don't really know a lot at all. Why do cruise lines not just have 100% all-inclusive. Like, if you tell me right now that if I pay, let's say I pay $4,000 for two people to go on a cruise, right? But if you charge me $4,500 for a cruise over the course of however long it takes me to pay it off, why not just include internet, drinks, for those who are 21 and over, and all activities on board. Like, why nickel and dime after you pay? Especially if most people book cruises like m more than six months in advance. So if you spread those costs over six months, it's not really a significant hit to a monthly, you know, payment plan. If you if you if you subscribe to a monthly payment plan, I'm just curious. Why y'all? What do y'all think about that? Why? Why don't cruise lines do that? Do you think they're gonna lose less money? Because I'm thinking if you charge everybody for everything, you kind of make more money. That's my theory. I could be wrong. But it'd be nice to actually walk on a cruise ship after paying one price and whatever activity, an option is on the cruise ship, you can do it. You don't have to be nickel and dimed $130 for internet like the internet is still a commodity and not a necessity in 2017. Like, since when did sodas become like such a big thing that only costs you like 15 cents Royal Caribbean per per cup, but you're charging like eight dollars per soda. Like I get it, I get the whole philosophy of it because that's what happens when you go to like amusement parks. But at the same time, if you charge everybody for everything, I feel like you make more money. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks. Hey. Oh, yeah. Six evening, just got finished seeing Inspector's Cabaret. Great show, man! Really fantastic show. Royal Caribbean's original show productions, like Spectres, man, top notch. One of the best things about being on Royal Caribbean. I'm about to hit up Michael's Dream and Pub again and meet up with my mom and my aunts. Keep it in the 70s, and my uncles. Really